Shalom Wam, Shalom Wam, the elect of the nation of Israel. Before I get started, call Halal, Wakabad, Al Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all praise and glory unto the Heavenly Father, whose true and proper name is Yahweh, in the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, whose true and proper name is Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of Great Millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honest, my fellow I can push the word and true faith sincerity across the four corners and shalom wam to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and doctrine of Great Millstone. It's the brother Yadav from Jesus Atlanta Church coming with another spiritual in transit. Uh, I don't really have a, a title at the moment, but uh, I just want to get into a, a few precepts and, uh, and see what the spirit brings out and uh, Lord willing you edify through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So um so i was just thinking and meditating on the fact that that uh the the nation the nation of edom okay edom esau which once again consists of the so-called white race on how they're really being revealed you know the the spirit of truth and the spirit of prophecy is really um coming out at a high level, a high degree, um, you know, and, the, you know, these Edomites, man, not only these Edomites, not only their identity, okay, their, their biblical uh, identity and nationality with them being a nation of, of Edom, okay, not only is their identity coming out and, uh, you know, they're, they're being, they're being marked spiritually, okay, by, the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Holy Spirit, and the Book of Truth. Okay, the truth written in the Holy Scriptures, but also their plan. Their plan, you know, when I say their, meaning the the elites of their nation, uh, the so-called Illuminati. Okay, and their and their whole entire New World Order agenda is truly uh, being uncovered. Man, it's being uncovered in the midst of them trying to complete their agenda. And it's just beautiful, man. It's just beautiful, you know. Um, so this is Second uh, Thessalonians chapter two. I'm gonna start at the top. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Hamashiach, and by our gathering together unto Him. Okay, and this is what's happening. This is a this is a major uh, piece and part of why, of how I should say why and how. Okay, why being the fulfillment of this of these prophecies? Okay. And the how being the the coming together, the the, the uh, congregating, okay, of the of the house of David, man, okay, the the reconciliation of the house of David, okay, and we're coming and we're coming together once again, you know, um, through the Holy Spirit, but also because of um, the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, the Messiah, okay, Yahweh Shai, the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shai. That sacrifice is once again already laid up for us, man. You know, Lord willing, we are of that uh, elect number, you know, and we're coming together. And a, a part of us coming together is us continuing to push out the truth of, of what's going on in this world, this society, and what's actually got us to this point. You know, uh, our people being destroyed. OK, our people being, um, you know, pursuant to the curses written in, in Deuteronomy 28th chapter. You know, our people uh, um, having those curses placed on us as, as a whole collectively. OK, and individually. OK, and also through the through the works and transgressions of our of our main enemy, man, the main enemy being uh, Edom Esau. OK, the so-called white, the so-called white race. OK, continuing on verse two, second Corinthians chapter two, verse two, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as that the day of Hamashiach is at hand. OK, so. Man, we should, you know. Brothers, is, brothers have been speaking about, you know, a lot lately as far as the, you know, having and embracing a, a winning mindset, you know, and also having, you know, we should have a, a, a growing level of confidence, man. OK, that word um, confidence going into with faith, uh, uh, you know, we should have we should have, you know, a, a growing we should we should be moving with more and more faith, you know, as the coming day approaches, the coming day, the, the day at, at hand. Is once again the coming, coming, uh, the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, who is coming. Yes, he's coming to, you know, bring a lot of uh, uh, death and pain and judgment, but a big portion of that judgment is what we're what we're looking to hope for, which is salvation, man. We, you know, we're we're hoping 
to um by by the 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 coupling of our of our faith in our works we're hoping to be found worthy to be written in the book of life man you know and once again with the coming of our lord and savior yahweh shai yes he's coming to judge yes he's coming to do a lot of slaying in the world okay the the, the slain of the lord shall be many okay and uh, a lot of people are going to know yahweh by how it's judgment through death and pain but a big portion a major a major major portion of that judgment is going to be come for this uh come through the salvation man the, through the salvation of the 144 elect thousand men okay and the one-third the one-third elect of our nation as well man okay so that's why i say you know through the spirit we should be moving with more and more faith man because you know once again we should all recognize certain instances throughout the course of our just everyday everyday life in which you know, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is doing things to and for us, man. Okay, so with 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 us being able to see, um, you know, the perfect will in the spirit, okay, the perfect will and the um, the gra the grace and mercies of our of our Father of our Heavenly Father and our Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, that should only increase our faith more and more until once again until the, the coming day, man, the, the the day of judgment, man. You know, so. Just like um, was written here in uh, this precept, we shouldn't have, we shouldn't be shaking, we shouldn't be shaky, man. We should be, we should be, we should grow uh, firmer and firmer, okay? Continue to to build, uh, uh, do our part to build the house of David, man. Every every man, woman, and child, all right. And uh, even going with that, uh, speaking about being uh, firm or unshaky, that goes into what the foundation, okay? Because we're 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 continuing to lay and build upon a solid foundation when you how you how shy being the chief cornerstone, man. All right. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, we should all be, be firming up in the spirit, man. We should all be firming up in our confidence. Of course, uh, we understand that the righteous will scarcely be saved. Okay. Uh, we, we understand that, but at the, at the end of the day, somebody has to put on as a very elect, man. Somebody has to be that, 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 that prophecy of, um, that, that number of multitude being saved, it has to be fulfilled. Okay. So, you know, why not? Why not you, man? Why? Why shouldn't you have, you know, of course, in meekness, humility and, um, you know, in, in fearing the, the Lord, you how about showing how was shy? Why? Why can't you be saved, man? You know, uh, uh, let's let you turn back and, and go back into the world or don't finish, don't continue to uh, finish and endure until the end. Why? Why shouldn't you be saved, man? You know, the uh, the most high, you how about showing how was shy is, uh arm is not short hand is not short that it can't save man you know why not you man you know uh read that again this is second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 2 that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word and and that's another thing too man as far as these um these these nay these nay and gainsayers man you know uh the, the flavor of the week once again coming back to uh uh vocab malone vocab no class malone which that guy don't understand the scriptures, man. That guy's an Edomite, man. That guy's spiritually butthurt, man. Okay, because this guy, you know, this 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 word is this word is getting to the to these people, man. Once again, going into Esau Edom. All right. And you know what's happening as well. And the next verse is gonna go into this, man. This is beautiful, man. You know, uh the 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 skirt, the skirt of Esau is being lifted up, man, in which the um the man of sin is being is being revealed, okay? It, it, it's that goes once again to the, to the power of uh, the uh, uh, the complete uh, power of uh, an authority of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, in which Esau Edom has been able to to roam this earth and do all types of uh, manners of wickedness, okay, and uh, kill and steal and destroy and do, once again do all types of manners of manner of manners of wickedness, but it wasn't it wasn't until very recently in which the uh the spirit um had it to where we could pin this group of people to the prophecy of being uh uh the wicked man to be to be the biblical edomites okay but it's, it's all part of the, the program all right the spiritual algorithm of yahweh bashim yahweh shai you know and we have to give we have to give praise and give thanks that yahweh bashim yahweh shai is working working with us on any type of level in which we can understand these things man understand these matters man okay um finish out in this in this chapter this is second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 let no man deceive you by any means for the day for that day shall not come 
except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition okay so the time of, of the nation of israel's falling away has, has come to an end man okay um once again, the nation of Israel consists of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and the confusion of faith spread abroad. All right, who uh, who have the spirit of Israelite, you know, no matter what their uh, outer vessel or their body appears. Okay, the time of us falling away from our powers, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, has come to an end. Okay, and that's once again coupled hand in hand with the with the, the prophecy of the uh, the man of sin being revealed, which once again the man of sin is uh. Is Edom Esau, man. Okay, I'm going to continue on. Uh, this is Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Okay? And that, go and that goes once again with um, Job 9, 9 and 24, in which through um, iconoclasm, Okay, this this wicked and perverse nation has um has has, has put a put a, a a spiritual mask or covering over the eyes of the of the mass of these people, man. Okay, to the point that our people, you know, and this and you, this, this goes also hand in hand with uh with the, the systematic the systematic way in which we've been stripped of our heritage by these Edomites, man, by the so-called white man. Okay, because our people, the Haobashim Haobashai, has allowed Esau Edom to uh, rule and control the hearts, minds, and bodies of our people for so long that they can't even, the majority of our people can't even see themselves as being worthy of being of the lineage of Israel, man, all right, to be Yasha Allah, okay? But it's all, it's all good, baby. <laughs> you know, it's all good because this, that time has come to an end, all right? Our, uh, in the same place in which it says that we're not uh, the, 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 the chosen people of the Most High, this is the same place in which the Spirit is going to raise up, okay? Starting with uh, the men that came before us, you know, Abba Bivens, you know, and the, and the other apostles and elders that came before us and taught our current apostles and elders, you know, the, the men and, and the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught them, the Spirit, you know, uh, uh, woke them up to who we are and we could continue to, to, to do this work, man, to lay... To once again continue to build on the foundation for your house shot being a chief cornerstone in which we build and we're we're, we're rebuilding the, the spirit this uh the spirit the third temple in the spirit man okay so let me uh, get this last precept i'm gonna close out all right this is one second i just gotta find it here we go I should start up a verse. Nah, man, this is good, man. <laughs> I'm going to start at the top, man. <laughs> All right, so this is um this is Psalms chapter 30. I'm going to start at the top. It says, uh, uh, it says, this is spirit. It says, a psalm and song at the dedication of the house of David. It's a spirit, man. Okay, I'm going to start at the top. Psalms 30 and 1. I will extol thee, O Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. For thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. That's what's happening now, man. What's happening now is that even, once again, going into a uh, whole cab, whole clap, whole cab, no class, uh, Melon Malone, man. All right. It's get, it, it is now reached a point in which the man of sin has been revealed. Once again, the man of sin being the, the nation of, of Edom, Edom Esau, the so-called white race. Okay. In which now, because we're we're uh, we're getting our spiritual bodies back, meaning we're understanding who we are, um, uh, pursuant to the fulfillment of prophecy, okay, and we're and we're getting the covering of our heritage, our culture, okay, and our powers back. These these uh, heathens, okay, primarily the the nation of Eden, the so-called white man, who used to be able to uh, uh, rejoice that they had us in subjugation. They can't do this anymore, man, because this truth, this truth has gotten out, okay? And and, and and we're not we're not bowing down to any powers no longer other than Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Lord willing, man. Okay? This is verse two. O Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, my power, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Okay? Because even going to um Ezekiel nine and four, okay? Um 
you know, we we before before we came into the truth, okay, came across came across and came into the truth. Our spirits were crying out, man, crying out for, for understanding, crying out for to understand, uh, you know, what's going on in the world, man, how we got here, okay, where we, where how we're supposed to uh, conduct and operate, how where we're supposed to go, the direction in which we're supposed to go and move forward, you know, and because the, the, the spirit made an intercession for us. Okay, you have a bunch of a shot. Answer the call of our, answer the call and cry of our spirit, man. Okay, and that's why it's our reasonable service to continue in this work, continue in this ministry. Okay, because there, there's, there's other men, there's other men, women, and children out there where their spirit is doing the same thing in which our spirit did before we came into this truth, man. All right, this is verse three. Oh, you have a bunch of shot. Thou hast brought up my soul from the grave, and the grave going into a uh, uh, a pit or a place of difficulty, okay? Because we we were finished, man. We were finished before we came across, you know, uh, the teachings and works of, of our apostles and our elders. We were finished, man, okay? But 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 Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai through His everlasting grace and mercy has brought us out of that grave, man, okay? Into in which we can now begin to stand upright, okay? And we have life again, man. We have that breath of life again, man, okay? Slide, drop. All right. It says, uh, thou, thou has kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. OK. And even even in the spirit like we understand, we understand the times that are to come. All right. The, the difficulties. All right. Jacob's trouble. Martial law. All right. Implementation of the mark of the beast, which the mark of the beast is the RFID or NFC microchip. OK. That's going to be another pit in which a lot of our people are, are going to fall into, man. All right. Because really, at the end of the day, because they're not written in the book of life, man. All right. Just like we were speaking about earlier in which I'm going to have to have a, a, a number of souls to fulfill the prophecy of those that are saved from our nation. You're going to also have to have the number of souls of those that are um, uh, des destined to be destroyed. All right. To be judged, to be judged, uh, not worthy to be uh, 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 worthy of salvation, man. OK, uh, let me see. Uh, this is Psalms chapter 30, verse four. Sing, sing unto you how about you, how shy, O ye, O ye saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. See, we see, and that's why this, um, uh, the scripture speak about us singing a new song, man, because this, this is a portion of the new song, us going out here and uh, 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 revealing who the who the man of sin is. All right, us going out and and preaching to our preaching and teaching to our people that that we are the the, the nation of Israel. You know. Um, and then give thanks for the remem remembrance of these things, man. Because b before we had the understanding that we were uh, uh, Israelites, you know, biblically through the Spirit, you know, when we when we read when we read the Holy Bible, we didn't understand that that's that's the story of our people, man. You know that 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 was that was us that, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah did those miraculous feats for and, and and delivered us, you know, even even despite us going off, you know. That's that go into the, why we should just be exceeding, exceedingly glad and happy that we have the opportunity to do this work, man. All right. That we have we have one more chance to get right with the Yahweh was shy before he brings that um, ultimate judgment upon uh, 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 this place. All right. Of, of America, man. Babylon the Great. OK, I'm going to end off uh, with this last verse. It's a Psalm chapter 30, verse five for his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Okay, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, once again, is a very merciful power, man. All right, with with uh, us going off for for thousands of years, he's still gonna he's still gonna have an abundant amount of mercy, man. Okay, and and with his favor, that once again is life. Okay, in which we're gonna be able to not only Lord willing be able to have life, okay, and be and attain salvation through the uh, oncoming destruction. We're going to uh, also all, all all of Israel will be able to have everlasting life, man, and to and to enjoy the kingdom. OK, in their specific life forever and ever, man. You know, hey, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. It says weeping may endure for for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. OK, and that's and that's ultimately what we're hoping for, man. OK, and with us in this uh, fortune of to be called into this work. We're hoping to uh, uh, have that, uh, uh, be able to uh, earn and inherit the kingdom of heaven in which we'll be able to really live it up, man. We'll be able to really live and be 
you know, uh, 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 princes of the power, man. Okay, and not only not only princes of the power, but also joint heirs of our Lord and Savior, our Messiah, Yahweh Shai, the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Okay, so I hope and pray the lesson was edifying. Once again, call Halal Wakabad Al Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All praise and glory unto the Heavenly Father, whose true and proper name is Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, whose true and proper name is Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakhakwadash. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles and my elders with great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to my fellow I keep pushing the word and true faith succeed across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.